Hey guys, so today's video is going to be a review and comparison on the Hourglass Ambient Powders and the Bobbi Brown Brightening Nudes Finishing Powder. I was really excited when you asked me to review the two or just tell you what the difference between the two products are because it never Start dawned by on me telling to do you that about the Hourglass Powders real quickly because I'm sure you've seen a hundred reviews and read a hundred blogs on them. But I have the Ethereal Light, which is the white one. and the diffuse light which is my favorite and this is a very very pale yellow and basically what these powders are supposed to do is supposed to kind of manipulate and filter out harsh lights giving the skin a perfected appearance or a very very smooth have really I know there's a lot of mixed reviews about these powders I have don't have all of them I haven't tried them I did swatch them all at the store but I really 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 love the way that these powders make my skin look so I'll start out by telling you about the ethereal light which is the white one this is definitely the maddest of all of the powders I don't want to say that when you put it on your skin that it's completely matte it's actually more of a satiny matte finish I swatched this one at the store it was definitely the most matte with no sparkle no shimmer just a really nice satin appearance that is what I'm wearing today and for me it's like the best of both worlds because when you are trying to blot yourself with a matting powder or a setting powder sometimes it can look really cakey and just make you look very mannequin or almost dead like a zombie so I had to add that in there because I'm what just obsessed with Walking Dead I really like that this is like a satiny matte appearance so it's or a satiny matte texture so it's gonna do great in the summer and it still gives you that moonlit glow so this one is basically supposed to mimic a moonlit glow even in broad daylight or at night. So it really gives your skin a softening appearance. And as soon as I put it on, I really, my skin looks really, really smoothed out and really almost angelic. So this is a great one. The next one is Diffuse Light, and this is my most favorite. It's a very, very pale yellow. It's almost a white yellow. And this one is supposed to give your skin clarity and reduce redness. Well, if you have acne or if you have really sensitive skin and you suffer from rosacea, this is going to be a great one for you because it's going to counteract that. I also love this one because it really evens out my skin tone. And even when I'm in gym lighting, my skin looks perfected. And that is a huge thing for me because with no matter what powder I have used or foundation, when I'm at the gym, and I look at myself in the mirror, my skin looks horrendous. It just is really, really harsh, horrible lighting because it's basically fluorescent lights. When I wear these, I can tell that there is a softness to my skin and it's not as harsh or not as harsh looking. So that's what I have noticed about these. And these are marketed more towards making the skin appear perfected and kind of manipulating the light no matter what light that you're in. And that is the biggest difference I have found between these two products. The Bobbi Brown, I love it and I will continue to love it and continue to think it's a must have, but it's just for brightening. And with that being said, when you swatch it, there are very, very subtle sparkles to it. To it. And I know a lot of people don't like sparkles. I don't know if you'll be able to tell. You're not going to be able to tell, but that, when I look at my hand, there are just a little bit of sparkles, but when you put it on your face, you can hardly tell. So if it doesn't bother you, you know, if that doesn't bother you, that's fine. But um, the main difference between these is that this just brightens and that these two actually help correct the skin, you know, in whatever light. I still think that they both equally even out my skin tone. I do feel that the hourglass evens it out better and makes my pores and my like fine lines and wrinkles disappear more so than the Bobbi Brown. Not to say that I don't love it less. These just, I feel, are more pigmented for sure and give your skin more of a even finish. So I don't know if we'll be able to tell today, but I am wearing 
the ethereal light. And as soon as I put it on, my skin just seriously looked 100% smooth and just even. Um, in terms of wear, these wear a long time for me. I don't have any problems with blotting. Again, I do have normal to dry skin, but there's not a lot of breakthrough with oils because these are really pigmented. So you only need to apply it with a big fluffy brush and probably go once, maybe even twice over your face. I don't know if I could do that. With a Bobbi Brown, I literally could like just swirl my brush and just go to town on my face and it just would never look cakey. You just, with these, you don't need that much of product. So these retail for 45. The Bobbi Brown is 50. I had to choose one or the other to tell you guys which one I would get. I would really, the Bobbi Brown will always be there, but I would really try at least one of these hourglass powders. I know they ha it comes in like a pink and two more tan bronner, bronzy tones. And I exchanged the bronzy one because that was a little bit too glittery for me. The one, I can't remember which one it is, but they like progressively get more glittery. And this one is the most pigmented with some sparkle and some sheen. These two are, have zero, have sheen, but zero sparkle. The Bobbi Brown has some sparkle. So if you hate sparkle and you hate the way, and you're just really want to shy away from it, try out these two. You have some redness, and go with the diffused light because Bobbi Brown even makes a yellow toned powder because she says that's the most flattering on most women. So I think that this is going to be the best choice for anybody. I honestly love this one. And I'm this and the ethereal light, the white one is beginning to grow on me just because of the way it makes my skin look and how it just gives it that really even Barbie like appearance. For no. a so. final recap, there is a difference between these two products. Bobbi Brown is mainly for brightening. These are more correcting, brightening in one. So like these adjust to certain lights. This it's just almost like your normal finishing powder. So that what that's what makes the hourglass powders different from any other finishing powder out there is because they actually adjust to the lighting. This doesn't adjust. I hope makes this your skin review brighten. and comparison was helpful and that you guys got the answers you were looking for. If not, please let me know below and I will answer your questions very quickly and I will talk to you soon. Bye.